Hi everyone, it's this Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here today. I am back to share my project share for Coco Rosa Studio as a guest designer. I have been working with Coco Rosa for some time now and I am back to share with you what I created using one of the dies that I chose from their website. Now this die right here is called the Crucifix Flowers die set and look how gorgeous this die set is. I love this. I didn't have a lot of crosses in my um, crafty stash so I really wanted to work with this and I love anything that's spiritual related anyway. Um, this is a real decent size um, cross um, that fits a great 4x6 which would be an A2 size card. Really great to cover for great card coverage. And then I also like the fact that it has all this foliage on the front that you can do so many things with. So I use this die set in my creation today and this is what I'm going to be featuring. Um, I also will have a coupon code in the description box for you all as well as all the links of all the products that I have been um, discussing here on my channel for Coco Rosa Studio. Um, that coupon code for you to save 25% off of your purchase is MEMORY25. Make sure you use the code MEMORY25. You will save 25% 25 25 off of your purchase and also by doing that you will also receive a free gift if you put it in the description box um, when you at checkout during the time when you are on Coco Rosa Studios website. That information will also be listed for you as well so make sure you take advantage of that offer. They have some really great products and a lot of great new ones um, for you guys to see. Really affordable and definitely a lot of creativity that you can um, create different things with. So I also took time and I cut out the crucifix as well as some of the foliage so you can see what it starts off like. So this is what it looks like when you cut it. This is just cut in white cardstock um, paper and you can see how it um, definitely gives you that definite great impression of the cross as well. So I use that to my advantage within my creation. Um, in addition to that, I decided to cut out my foliage in white as well as some gold. So I cut out multiple ones because I'm also going to be using this in another project. So I have some extra ones and um, extra pieces left over. So definitely keep those extra pieces that cut out even if you don't use them all. Um, I did use this in this card creation as well. But these are also great to add to other die cuts and different dies you may have in your stash as well as coordinate with any of the stamps. Um, so look how beautiful and it cuts out so easily. Really, really nice. So that's what that looks like there. Now on for some of the different other items that I use in my stash to create my project today. I also use one of my favorite scriptures which is um, this scripture right here is Christ strengthens me and I picked this up from one of my local craft stores and one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 and this is what I use in my creation today I love this I have this in different places in my room um, this is something that um, this scripture definitely speaks volumes to me and hopefully speaks volumes to you as well. Um, so I love it. So I definitely use that. In addition to using that scripture, I pulled out one of my other um, crafty items that I had in my stash, which is my dashing rectangles. So I use this today as well. And I pulled out one of my favorite paper pads that I keep going back to. And this is the paper pad that I use today. This is one that I got from one of my local retailers as well that was on clearance a few years ago. This paper pad is by Paper Studio and the paper pad is called Grateful, Thankful, Bless. So this is a really beautiful paper pad. At the time when I got this, they only had the one. I so wish they would have had more than one because I would have definitely got a second one as a backup. But I'm thankful and fortunate to have found this one. The paper that I used was this right here for my inspiration piece. 
this is the um, background paper that I thought would go really well with what I wanted to do for my card creation today. Uh, with that being said, I'm now going to share my card creation. So the card that I created today using that beautiful Crucifix Flowers die set from Coca Rosa Studio is this one right here. So here's my final piece. I absolutely adore how everything turned out. I went with the color gold. I used the gold from the Red Collections paper pack that I have in my stash. And I also used some um, gold gilding flakes as well. I'm gonna pull those so you guys can see what that looks like. So I went ahead and I used this item here and this is the Nouveau gilding flakes. So I pulled some of those out to add some of that gold inside of my, um, or on my cross in different areas. Um, I really like the way that turned out. I have an outline of gold as well on my cross. What I did to get that effect is I cut the cross out multiple times because you can see my cross is dimensional. I went ahead and I wanted my um, cross or my crucifix to pop out a little bit more. I didn't want it to be flat. So what I did was I cut around the areas in the crucifix um, along the lines of the embossed look of the crucifix and then I did um, I created a, such an area to where the goal would stick out and be an outline for the cross and so that's how I was able to get that gold effect trim around my crucifix here so you can also see how I used the foliage and I just kept it simple by using the white and gold uh, foliage color there and then I also um, bordered this with a gold outline framed as well as that beautiful paper from Paper Studio collection. And then I kept my card on a white base. Um, so this is um, happens to be my finished look here. And last but not least, I stamped my favorite scripture coming um, down the cross. So when you turn it this way, it's easy to be read there. But by the size, it works best right there. But I like the different look of having it on to the side. Um, I just think that adds something different versus keeping it straight. Um, so I really um, adore how this turned out. And I went with gold for royalty and richness. Um, so I really like that. And then I love the way that it picks up the gold foil from the crosses in the background of this paper that I chose. In the inside, I did choose to keep it blank for now. I can go back and add a message later. But on the back, I did go ahead and stamp my signature stamp, which is inspired by life created by hand. So yes, this is my card creation. Let me know what you guys think. I am so thankful and blessed and happy to have shared this card with you all today. And I will be back with another project for Coco Rosa Studio. So if you don't mind, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, as well as check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.